Hello everyone, thanks for your patience with my videos. Um, I've been handling a lot of things due to post-COVID-19, <laughs> as everyone else has, so I appreciate your patience. I hope to make more videos. I've been contacted by several people that were requesting more videos on narcissistic abuse, and especially from a Christian perspective. Um, my hope is to help all of you uh, extract yourself from the, from the narcissistic relationship if you haven't already and if you have already done so to help you heal and move on with the Lord as the center of your life so I hope everyone has uh, watched the prior videos about uh, narcissism a spiritual warning and signs of a narcissist signs of a demon um, I hope you got some information out of that. I do believe this is spiritual warfare, everyone. No question about it. Uh, if you try to confide in a friend that has not gone through uh, this type of abuse, or if you try to confide in anyone that hasn't encountered a severe uh, malignant narcissist, um, Really, it's almost setting yourself up for re-abuse. Many times they're dismissive, you know, they don't understand. They're thinking, why is, aren't you over this? Just forget about the person. Um, and they kind of treat it as though you encountered just somebody that you're not compatible with or somebody that was just a random jerk along the way. But we all know, <laughs> oh boy, we do we all know that is not the same thing. We all know the type of abuse that the narcissist dishes out. It's very demonic, and it's very twisted. It's up, down, push, pull, bizarre behavior, stuff that just make you so confused and knock you off your rocker, which is why it's from the adversary. You know, the adversary is the king of ongoing torments, and he knows how to do the craziest things to torment you. You know, if it's just somebody you're not getting along with, that's not like uh, demonic torment. Um, so the narcissist, you know, has Satan at his helm or her helm, if it's a woman. There's a lot of female narcissists. There's and, and but male. They're mostly male, but there's a lot of females. I've I've met the females too. And uh, their behavior is very demonic, very manipulative, very hateful deep down, and uh, it's not normal. And one of the things that is really not normal uh, are the lies that they tell that are easily verified as lies. Do you notice that? They will say things straight to someone's face that are so ridiculous and they actually think that the person's going to buy the lie, you know. An example, you walk into a restaurant and um, say if you're a woman walking in with a male narcissist, uh, there's two women talking at a table and the whole restaurant is empty but these two women. And one of the women turns to the narcissist you're with and starts waving and calls his name and you ask who that is and the narcissist says who where no one waved at me what are you talking about when they gaslight you like that <laughs> and you say to yourself okay I'm staring at the woman that just waved to my narcissist and he's saying what woman I don't see a woman you're imagining it that's when you know there's something really seriously wrong with the person, correct? But that's the type of lies. That's just a hypothetical situation, but that's the type of lie that the narcissist will tell. And they could be extremely intelligent narcissists. They could be pillars of the community and politicians and lawyers and doctors and CEOs of companies. They could have, uh, you know, two doctorates. It doesn't matter. The lies they tell are pretty dumb, <laughs> you know, and you, you end up scratching your head thinking, what's wrong with this person? Are they serious? You know, so they, they tell really, ver you know, verifiable lies. You can, you can easily verify that they're lying. You know, the evidence is right there in front of you. Another type of uh, verifiable lie is if they say, uh, well, I own my own home, you know, 
and then you check, you know, you can easily find those things out and you check online and you find out that they're renting the home, say, but they lied and said they owned it. It Those are easily verifiable, you know, uh, types of lies. Um, but there they're, could be highly intelligent people, but they, they tell very unintelligent <laughs> lies. Um, that's the thing that leaves you scratching your head. Like, Usually normal, intelligent people don't do that, or at least if they're going to lie, they do their homework and, you know, tell something semi-believable. But not the narcissist. They just keep spewing these ridiculous lies that leave you scratching your head thinking, what? You know, you just can't believe it's the same person. You know, they could be very competent in their job, a family man or woman or mom or, you know, very well respected, but, you know, the personally to their target, they just spew these lies out that are just ridiculous. The other thing is um, when they uh, clearly do demonic setups, an average person wouldn't, you know, beg you to come over to their home, hoovering you back a million times saying that they want to apologize to you and either so sorry for what they did and please come over for dinner and uh, if the target has a weak moment and they succumb to the to the Hoover, they'll you know go to the person's house, only to find them cheating with a new form of supply. Now, who would do that intentionally? A narcissist would. They love to triangulate. They love the attention. They love upsetting you. They love causing pain in you, which is not normal. So that's the type of thing that maybe a friend or family member who hasn't experienced a narcissist would never understand that these narcissists that are very severe, they thrive on your pain. They thrive on your tears. They actually want to see you in tears. They get their energy and fuel from you crying and being upset and in shock and terrorized. They love it when you can't function. They love it when you are numb and uh, you really get paralyzed in all forms of your life to the point where it's hard to work, you can't function. So you really have to be tougher than nails. You really have to discipline yourself to say, I am not going to let this person affect my job. I'm not going to let this person affect my finances. I'm not going to let this person affect my relationship with my children or my family or friends or whoever. Um, but usually the target is affected in those areas because the narcissistic abuse is so severe and you can only take so much. You can only be strong for so long. So don't beat yourself up if you found yourself, you know, uh, losing your strength dealing with this narcissist and you were not capable of leaving. The reason I say that is it's not a matter of your physical or mental strength. It is a, a demonic stronghold from the adversary that you're dealing with. You're dealing with spirits. You're dealing with demonic forces. It's not the same as just a regular jerk human being on earth that, you know, does some bad things. You're dealing with Satan himself, I'm sorry to say. And his tactics are torturous and ongoing, and he's relentless. He wants to wear you out, wear you down, discourage you, depress you, paralyze you, and have it so you do yourself in, basically. He is here, make no bones about it, to steal, kill, and destroy you. That's the adversary's intention. And your narcissist is a representative of the adversary on Earth. He needs people here to get to you, you know? And uh, he comes as a being of light. You know, too good to be true kind of thing. And then when it, he suddenly flips the switch, of course you're going to be confused. Of course you're going to be shocked. Of course, you're going to be traumatized. And that's when he starts the, his good stuff, so to speak. That's when he really sinks in with the abuse. 
once he's won you over trust wise once you've given up a lot uh, of time energy and uh, perhaps even you know committed to the narcissist that's when the adversary changes the game because he knows you're you're all in and he can do the most damage then so this isn't uh, due to your weakness. This is due to the cunning evil of the adversary. And why you? Why did he target you? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because you are being of light. Because you have a calling in your life. Because you have empathy and love and are kind. Because you have the ability to love. And <laughs> the adversary doesn't. So those are the people that the adversary targets, the ones that um, are a threat to the, king, to the kingdom of hell, you know, if it is a kingdom, to the pits of hell, basically. You are a threat to the adversary. And if you are promoting love, light, God, good, kindness, empathy, and spreading the Lord's love on the earth, uh, believe me, you are number one target. You're on the adversary's hit list. And, um, you know, this is his way in these end days of sneaking up on you and trying to, you know, knock the wind out of your sail, so to speak. So we can't let him do that. The purpose of these channels are to encourage you to tell you what you're dealing with because, um, you know, there's a lot of great information out there, but a lot of them don't deal with the spiritual aspect of narcissism, which is why I made this channel and these videos. I 100% believe that I was dealing with a demonic force. Uh, the behavior was too bizarre, too strange. Um, there are certain forms of narcissism that I believe are, are not as demonic um, but there are some that are truly, truly, uh, I believe, you know, fallen angels on earth that are uh, very demonic and a very, de you know, very much influenced by demonic forces on earth. No question. Their behavior is just not human. And they cause too much uh, pain, suffering. It's only when you call on Jesus call on your warrior angels to fight your battles for you. Seek the Lord out with your heart. Tell him you can't handle it yourself and to take over and to deal with the narcissist because uh, you just can't anymore. The Lord will give you strength. Pray for the anointing. The anointing gives you the power and the strength to go no contact. And the Lord will deal with the narcissist, trust me always does. Your warrior angels will deal with the narcissist. They're just waiting at attention for something to do. <laughs> they want to be of help to you. We just don't utilize our warrior angels. And you wouldn't believe, you would not believe what happened when I did the many times I called on the warrior angels. You wouldn't believe how fast they acted and what happened. I just was floored at I didn't have to do a thing. The warrior angels handled each and every situation. God handled each and every situation. And that's a message right there. You don't have to be vindictive. You don't have to stoop to the adversary's, uh, you know, type of tactics of doing evil things back to your narcissist. You don't have to do anything. The Lord will take care of them. And uh, your warrior, angel, warrior angels will fight your battles if you call upon them. So please be encouraged, and I hope this uh, video helped today. I hope to be able to uh, counsel by email and by Zoom, perhaps, and uh, work something out with the people that are interested. Um, I did teach at the university level and counsel at the university level for several years uh, and moved on from a very, very severe narcissist. I know all their tactics. I know what they do. I know the pain and suffering that you're going through. I know the confusion quite well. And um, also, I can also help with, um, 
you know, past reflections, many of you probably realized, you know, people in your past, now you're connecting the dots and you find out that you had best friends and family members that perhaps were narcissists as well. And you're dealing with that aftermath, the realization of, uh, you know, people in your past that were abusive to you as well. So if that's something you would like to do, please contact me below at the email listed, and I'd be happy to uh, discuss ways that we could um, work on things to get you on the right path. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow, and I hope to uh, put out more videos. I've got a lot of subjects to talk about here as far as severe narcissists go. There's a lot of concerns that you guys have, and I have met so many people personally suffering from these, uh, you know, demonic hybrids on Earth today that um, it really needs attention, so I'm planning on putting more videos out. If you have any subjects you'd like me to cover, please also put them in the comments below, and especially if you need prayer, put that, your first name or initials in the comments below, and I would be more than happy to pray for you. It does wonders, and, um, you know, that's where we get our strength from. So thanks, everybody. I will see you next time, and God bless.